Well, uh, the planetarium, built by Eze Eisenhower, and he painted his name here. You can see when he built it, from 1774 till 1781. So when you hear the clock, you know that everything here is moving. If you want to see it on the other side of the room, you have to come back in 15 years. <laughs> Almost sure that then you can see that the sun will be a little higher up. Four centimeters. Yeah. It's 242 years old now, which makes it the oldest still functioning planetarium in the right after 22 years, and it's very simple. Take it out, rub the old eyes off, and then you Well, we see it happen, of course, because we are convinced that this really deserves that title. Uh, yeah, and for the rest, it's up to, uh, to the board of UNESCO, I would say. Yeah, the genius of Eisinger is still something that impresses people. And it's a great example of, of uh, what people, uh, yeah, how people thought in the 18th century, in the age of enlightenment, and how they tried to popularize astronomy and to show it to people. So I think recognition is the most important thing. Everything uh, that is shown in the planetarium is constantly moving. He has built a huge gear mechanism over the ceiling, uh, driven by a small clock, and that makes that everything here is constantly moving. Uh, yeah, people will never see it because it's moving in real time, so that's very slow. Yeah, the, the slowest object takes 29 and a half years for one uh, round through the room, so you will never see it move. You have to be very patient to see the difference. It would be great to have it recognized and we want it to be recognized but on the other hand in the past 242 years it has already been recognized by people by all these people visiting more than two million people over all these years have already visited his house from all over the world and that's also a recognition of his achievement and of the importance of the planetarium <laughs>